Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sloane confides in Eric that she believes Father Roman dislikes her. Glam Roman is approached by Kate at the bar. He is still hesitant about Eric and Sloane having a child. Fast-moving Melinda and Nickel collide in the Salem Square, sending the DA documents and Nichols' snack flying. Harris, who is worried and will soon begin his treatments at Bayview, is with Marlena. He feels relieved to be here and vows to never hurt anyone again. Someone is covertly monitoring. To congratulate E.J. on his marriage, Chad brings a gift box filled with Cuban cigars to the Demira mansion. They embrace. Nickel and the unborn child are healthy. E.J. is happy to report. He inquires how it is to live with the attractive Steph. Chad grumbles about Alex constantly popping up. Arriving with Chinese food for Steph is Alex. She advises him to put it in his refrigerator. Unfortunately, he ordered too much and tried to split it with her and Chad. After his disastrous date with Melinda, he is thankful that she and Chad invited him to join them at the bar. He claims he wants to wait with her after learning Chad is not at home. She concurs. He declares incoherently that Nichols' fried pickles and milkshake are beyond redemption because his date with Melinda was a failure because to her. Melinda understands that it is for her cravings related to becoming pregnant. She recalls Sloane making a reference to a Nickel-related secret she was keeping and slickly offers to buy her another combo. Eric is confident that once Father Roman realizes how content Sloane makes him, he will change his mind. Sloane laments that his family is the only family their child has and claims that she has improved. He calls their youngster Baby Brady. Sloane, a feminist, questions why he presumes their child will have his family name. Harris sighs after the philanthropic Marlena walks away. Eve Donovan approaches with patience. The sight of her astounds him. While sharing a drink with EJ, Chad laments how aggravating Alex is for being around. Before he loses the lady he loves, E.J. advises him to make a stand. Steph learns everything that Alex said about her during their first blind date. The father is Eric. He breathes. They aren't even married, Sloan snaps. He advises they get married after that. Roman joins Kate at a pub table and inquires about Sloan's personality. She beams, knowing that despite his doubts about her character, he still loves her. Roman thanks Kate for helping him grow as a person. There is just trust right now. He feels a secret when Kate pauses. Pretty Eve acknowledges that she was detained here after being deemed criminally insane. Harris explains Megan's brainwashing in detail to her. After Salem High, neither one of them anticipated ending up here. In contrast to Harris, Eve sarcastically claims that she did not like high school. He expresses his sincere regret before she continues on her way. Suited E.J. challenges Chad to fight for Stephanie and speculates about what Stefano would do. Chad doesn't want to take unnecessary risks. E.J. cautions him that Alex won't give up. Chad gets to his feet and enters the fray. He storms out after taking a look at Stefano's portrait. E.J. smiles, sips alcohol, and inhales a cigar from Cuba. As Nicole consumes her novel food, Melinda brings up Sloan and Nickel's pregnancy. Nickel has a temper. Melinda takes note. Nickel says that based on the findings of the genetic testing, she can carry this child to term. Melinda begins her calculations. Eric wants to be devoted to both Sloan and his child. He thinks Sloan will approve of the name he wants to give their child because he is pleased to be a Brady. That would make things easier. Roman becomes concerned and asks Kate if she has any secrets. She acknowledges asking Harris to kill someone. Roman Soap looks at him. Harris expresses regret for treating Eve poorly when they were in high school. Better was because to her. It had been a while, she claims. He regrets hurting her. She makes fun of the fact that she turned the tables during the warehouse party by getting him and his pals jailed. He can recall. She muttered that she had a knack for getting her way. Unusual music is playing. Steph moves away to check on the kids. When Chad comes back, 
He orders Alex to stop acting like he's not after Stephanie. He cautions that it won't ever work. Roman sincerely hopes Kate did not request that Harris fire Stefan. No, she told him to let Megan go. Roman is relieved to learn that Harris tried to snatch her but failed. Unfortunately, Megan brainwashed him to pursue Stefan. Kate says she is sorry and that she promised Kayla she would tell him the truth. Roman is getting frustrated. Harris is interested in Eve's narrative. She acknowledges that she forced Hope's serial murderer son-in-law, known as Ben, to kill his own wife through mind control. Harris soap looks. Alex disputes Chad's allegations. Chad is aware that he is after his lady. Steph does not like possessive males. Alex cautions her. Chad tells him to stop pushing limits because he's had enough. Melinda inquires naively about the legitimacy of the DNA tests. Given her past, Nicole answers yes. Additionally, Sloane and Eric did it. Melina probes carefully and discovers that Sloane accidentally obtained Nicole's test results. Sloane is taken aback. Eric and she never contemplated getting married. He unromantically proposes since he thinks it would be best to make them legal before the kid is born. She replies, no, E.J. is disappointed that she was unable to meet Aid this time and is curious about Nichols' whereabouts as she returns home. Melinda knocked over her food but replaced it as she updated him on her cravings that brought her to the square. E.J. becomes suspicious right away. Melinda always has hidden agendas. Roman gets up and mumbles that he accepts Kate as she is and loves her. In fact, Megan posed a danger. Next time, though, no hits until she consults with him beforehand. Marlena returns from Bayview as they share a kiss. She is unable to give Kate any details, but she can attest Harris is where he needs to be right now. Harris expresses his profound condolences for Eve's loss of Paige. Although she continues to be tormented, she is improving how she manages her sadness. Harris admits that he and Hope recently dated. He was familiar with Ciara and Ben. Even though Eve won't ever pardon Ben, she feels bad for Ciara because she loves him. Alex accepts not to speak to Chad or Stephanie. On it, the boys shake. Steph appears and beams that the kids are fast sleeping. She'll reheat dinner. Alex quickly withdraws his request pretending to want him to stay, Chad. They both receive a good night from Alex. Steph is perplexed by the about face. Chad refers to Alex as lonely while acting confused. Chad gets praise from Steph for suggesting he stay. She is the sweet one, Chad says with enthusiasm. He will not allow anything to stand in the way of his love for her. She proposes they have dessert before dinner since she feels lucky. Then they proceed to the bedroom. Kate sends Harris good vibes. Now that Eric and Sloane have been brought up, Marlena acknowledges her worries about that woman. Likewise, Roman, they should, in Kate's opinion, give her the benefit of the doubt. For the benefit of her son's happiness, Marlena consents. Sloane is furious with Eric for his poor proposal. She requires a low Melinda tells Sloane that they should have lunch to continue the conversation. Nicole acknowledges to E.J. that the D.A. questioned the infants extensively. E.G. gushes about their own child and laughs that she has no life. Harris is told by Eve how much Bayview has aided her. She plans to travel to California to her family when she graduates in a few weeks. She might give music another shot. He praises her talent and claims that there is still time for her. They toast to his brighter future while drinking, and she says the same about him. Woozoo! Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.